so I'm in the process of moving things up into the loft and um, out of all my, my monopolies, there were only two that were actually listed. And I know for a fact, I listed them all at one point. So all that we had on there was this Simpsons one, which is worth a fair penny, and this Sonic Boom. So I had to relist City, University London, uh, Walking Dead, My Monopoly, um, oh, that's Dragon School from Oxford, and Game of Thrones. They're fairly easy to find. I've got to find a price for the Howard de Walden estate because I couldn't find any of those. Uh, also, the Amsterdam edition, I need to find a price for that. And also, a Reading edition. So, actually, I'm going to put those that way so that I know that they are not listed. Now, I'll hopefully make my life easier in the future. So, I now know that all of that is listed. And, yeah, we're getting there. Actually, it might really work out in my favour because I think this crisp is going to be a big one for eBay sellers and resellers in particular. I think this Christmas is going to get busy. And I think it's going to scare a lot of newcomers off. I really, really do. Or at least those that did in games. Thinning out the collection, Yamcha and Poir sold for £10 plus. £4 shipping, a uh, pot protector, and there's also some silica pearls inside the box to prevent any damp. We have just sold, I say just, last night we sold five Cristiano Ronaldo stickers for £59.99, including free delivery, going via the GSP to Malaysia. So, uh, yeah, once again, a massive thank you to the Welsh Wonder, a.k.a. the Master of Pieces, for putting us onto this uh, before it just absolutely exploded. And a thank you to Cristiano Ronaldo for going back to Man United and making these far more desirable. Not even put her away yet. I only listed it yesterday. Jessie sold for £12.99 plus shipping. Lovely. More ice moulds. Monday morning and we have the Noah's Ark of Stacks because they come in two by two. So it is Tuesday. I uh, didn't mean to put my face that close to the camera. Uh, peeing down with rain. I didn't do any packaging last night, so there's no parcels to go out. I have got one return request where I made a boo-boo. I did a stock listing or a stock image of some Le Crusoe stuff, and I used the wrong image. It was a slightly different colour. So the what I listed was like a two-tone, and it got darker towards the base of the unit. However, mine one was one complete solid colour, so I made a boo-boo. So that's being returned and it was dispatched today. And then I've got at least three or four items to package up. Nothing too exciting though, I'm afraid. But I have got a few, which means post office run tomorrow. It's peeing down with rain. I'm trying to do internal works only. However, no one's available. So i am got to go to my lockup and pick up some keys for some drains. And then... Uh, I'll probably go and do paperwork for my normal nine to five, which is not going to be exciting. Two more Lego sets, nine pounds each, and then me a pound each. A complete Digimon sticker set, forty nine ninety nine, all in, and will go as a large letter, very comfortably. This pentagram designed uh, Cryptex sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus signed for shipping. It is is going very close to where I bought it, so. This could be interesting. Maybe someone's buying back what they originally sold at the car boot for a couple of quid. Time will tell. It's Wednesday. Uh, these are my stacks. So this week I have picked up a bundle of Harry Potter books. I've paid around seven or eight pounds, eight pounds 50, I think. It's missing one book. They're all hardback and it's missing Order of the Phoenix. So my goal for the rest of the week is to try and find Order of the Phoenix. I used to have loads of Harry Potter books but I kept on finding the same ones and I not gave them all away. I just got rid of them all. And and now I I need I need one. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to try and find one. Which is annoying. Order the Phoenix. I reckon I'll find one today, or at least at some point in the week. Could cost me 50p. Could cost me five pounds. But I don't mind paying up if it means that I can list the whole set this week just to get rid of it over the Christmas period. Or do I wait? I might have to wait now, I've said that. I'm getting funny looks from all the kids walking to school. Yes, I'm talking to my phone, damn it. So I've got nothing else to do for the next hour. So I might actually go and see uh, the team 
which are over at a hoarding job. So I've, I'm gonna open up right now one Shining Fates tin, and I'm also going to do one Evolving Skies, maybe two Evolving Skies, so it's two of each, just for, I don't know, giggles, I suppose. I've not done Evolving Skies, no, so I've not done um, Shining Fates for a little while. Not since I was last in here, actually, doing them. So uh, we're gonna start off with Evolving Skies. Best card I've had so far would be Golurk, alternate art, and we have, uh, what was it? One, two, three. Oh, dude, Garbador VMAX. Oh, I know somebody's after that as well. Our result. So, oh, I did start saying the other day, um, a friend of mine has started collecting cards with his daughter. So he's always looking for swaps. So I might be able to trade that guard aboard for something else. Lovely jubbly. Evolving Skies that was as well. That's my first Evolving Skies um, Rainbow Ray, I think. Lovely jubbly. We have uh, Dreadnought. Sucks. Shining Fates has been a horrible set for me. It really has. The other pack's going to be opened up on my um, other channel. Uh, oh, Stoutland. God damn it. And then our last one. I've got to find out what Garbodors were. What's his orders? Oh, for God's sake. I'm not, I'm not ending on that. I'm not ending on that. Let's do another Evolving Skies. Because that was absolutely vital. Imagine ending on a botted orders. If we ended on... Something decent, like the Garda board, and happy. So these are five pound a pack, the Evolving Skies, uh, like a one pack blister. Comes with a promo card and a coin. So yeah, uh, if it's a bloody green code card, which means we got nothing, Lilligan. For God's sake. All right, we'll do the last one then, shall we? I'm gonna end up opening everything on this. I think I am. I'm gonna end up opening the other Shining Fates tin. Will it get any better than the Gardevoir? Or well, we've got a white code card and we have a Medicham V. I'll put that to one side for Matt as well, just in case he needs that for the set. So I, I ended up taking round all of my spares that aren't listed on eBay. And yeah, we're gonna work something out. Don't quite know what yet, but we'll work something out. Uh, where's my other tin? Did I open both of them? Because that didn't have a seal on it. Shining Fates. I'm so confused right now. We have a, oh, for God's sake. All right, last one, and I'm not particularly hopeful because this was not sealed properly. And we have a, oh, for God's sake, man. I just, <laughs> oh man. So many duds. What was the point in that? What was the actual point in that? I want to go cry because that was stupid. All for four minutes of entertainment for myself. Idiot. Zig has just sold for $29.99 plus signed for shipping. Owes me about 50p, I think. And we have sold the last set of honeycomb molds. Going to a subscriber, so thank you, Mark, for your purchase. And, um, Hope they are either going to get used or they're a good present because uh, yeah, they, they are quite nice, especially if you are a Jack Daniels drinker. So once again, massive thank you to Mark. Oh, by the way, I do actually have some left, but they're a part of a bigger bundle where there's six of. So I've got another six pairs. But for some reason, no one's bought the, the bundle that I've put together, which is far better value for money. But yeah, I do have more just in case that I can split up. It's a Thursday and um, yeah, two stacks. And we have a ghost. Nineteen ninety nine, all in for crying Freeman. Um, 
I don't know if I'm going to bother dispatching today, well, tomorrow, as it is currently Thursday, and I don't really want to go to the post office, and I'm very busy tomorrow, just for one or two items. So I've got one more fortnight item to do, so I'll get it all ready, but I won't mark as dispatched until maybe we've had a few more sales. So it is Thursday, and I've not done anywhere near as much charity shopping as I would have liked so far this week. However, uh, we are about to make £1,058.46 go live. That's over 54 listings. Uh, a lot of the same item, which makes life very, very sweet indeed. So fingers crossed we can start to get some sales through the door. Um, because, yeah, uh, putting up a grand um, in September... It'd be quite nice to get some sales over Christmas. It is Friday and I have no stacks, um, but I don't have one day dispatch on the items that were supposed to, or that I had the opportunity to package yesterday. So they might as well just wait. And um, I would have done it if the £100 sale had stuck, but someone bought something for 100 quid and then cancelled it five minutes later, which is annoying. So if that had stuck, I would have gone through and actually done everything. But it didn't, so sod it. I had the night off, say the night off, trying to put a little bit into sleep at the moment is not the easiest of things, neither speaking first thing in the morning, apparently. Uh, right, I'm off to work. Fortnite squad of four, because that's how many are in a squad, apparently. Uh, 49.99, all in, owes me 10 or 15 quid. I've had it for freaking ages, and I missed the uh, the party bus, as it were. But at least it's gone. So it is Friday afternoon, and I'm going to round the video off here. Our seven-day total is £471.88. Uh, obviously, it doesn't include costs, uh, potentially some postage as well, and obviously your fees, because uh, we all know that eBay loves to chuck on a few fees every now and then. Uh, had one return request returned, still got one more outstanding. The Xbox One controller has still not been returned, uh, although they have stated they have, but they have yet to reply uh, and like prove that they've posted it. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, 400 quid, our 31 day total so far is, is looking rather cushy. It's at just over 2k. Um, but I, I am confident that this month, being September, um, actually, no. I think next month, October, I've got a good feeling about next month. Uh, but that's it for me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Au revoir.